Should you buy Publisher Rocket? Is it worth it to grab this tool if you're an author, an aspiring author? How does it compare to like BookBean, KD Spy? We're gonna dive in. I'm gonna show you not just a full boring tutorial. I'm gonna show you actually how I use it for my books, an actual practical tutorial. So when we jump in here, you can see I've published well over 19 books and counting. And at the time of this recording, I'm getting ready to launch my 90 day coach book. So we're gonna use this as a practical example. How do I use Publisher Rocket when it comes to choosing my keywords, my categories, if I wanna run Amazon ads, adding keywords into my description so that my book gets more visibility. So this is Publisher Rocket if you've never seen it and it's got lots of features. Instead of going in and giving you the typical tutorial that you find on YouTube. I'm gonna show you how I use it right now with my actual book. So the first thing I like to do is dive into the keyword search. And you can see here, we can do a search on either books, Kindle only, or Audible only. You will get different results for each of those. I'm gonna choose Kindle only, and I'm gonna type in business coaching, because that is what my book is about. Now, when we get in here, you can see I've already run this. I wanted to run it ahead of time, so it, but I'll show you exactly how to do this. You can actually come over here and let's see if it'll let me do it. I'll do coaching business, just so you can see how it actually looks. So when you first do it, this is how it looks. And if you notice any of these orange, basically they're orange highlighted because you're not technically allowed to use those terms in your seven, keyword boxes when you go and you publish on Amazon. So you wanna be mindful of that. But you can use Coaching Business, Coaching Business Planner. And so what I would do is I'd come along here and I would just click on these. I like just clicking all of them. And then once I've clicked on all of the search terms, then I will rearrange the columns like I did right here. And I like to rearrange it according to estimated Amazon searches per month. Now, this is just an estimation it changes and fluctuates it. I don't see it as like exact. So just think of it as general, general, I would say popularity comparatively. Just because something's under 100 for me doesn't mean necessarily that I won't target that, but I do like to see some searches if I can. So business coaching is a good one. I would consider that it's even got a low competition score, which is really important. If you hit the greens, Really, I'm looking personally I'm looking for anything under 65, but if you're a brand new author, you might wanna go under 40. So if I see this has got potential, right? It's telling me, hey, this category is earning about $750 per month. That's average, that's okay. Now, what I like to do if I find a category that's interesting to me, then I will hit the button over here. And what that does is actually takes me to the compet competition analyzer. Now in the competition analyzer, it's gonna allow me to actually get more granular on the books. So there's lots of ways you can do this. You can geek out, you can take a lot of time, but I'm all about practical, quick. So what I like to do is I like to find a book that is ranking, and that's what this is doing. It's pulling in the top 10 or 20 books for the term business coaching, and I can see which ones are performing the best. And so if we hop back in here, you can see this. What caught my eye is this $1 million coaching and courses blueprint. First of all, because it's self-published. So that's always good if you can find self-published. I think if you find a self-published book that's working really well, that's a really good sign. It's less than a year old. It's got a pretty good sales rank. That's what this is. A little lower the number, the better. And the price is low on the Kindle but it's still bringing in 228 sales per month. So what I like to do once I find a book like this is I like to click on it and go actually look at it. So it popped up this window right here, and this is the actual book page. Now, one thing that you can do, what I like to do is if I scroll all the way down here, get all the way down, I can find the ASIN number, which is like the Amazon identification number product, like a SKU. And I can come back over here and I can go over here to reverse ASIN lookup. This is powerful, my friend. So when we come in here and we paste that in and say, go get them rocket. Now what the tool is doing is it is searching for all of the keywords 
that book is ranking for. When I find it under business coaching, that's only one search term. But what are the other search terms that is helping this book perform and make sales, right? That's what we wanna know. So we hop back in, you can see here that I've got more to look at. So there's a five pages here. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pause the video. I like to just search each of these, every single one. I don't really pay attention to if it applies or not. I'll make that determination later, but you don't wanna sit here and watch me click the orange button. So I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'm gonna show you what I do next. All right, the magic has happened, and here we are. So the first thing I like to do, I've got over five pages of keywords, is I just resort of the column so the top searches per month will show up. And you can see here, we've got small business books. That would be a great keyword to either add into the description or as to run Amazon ads for. Again, I cannot include this in my seven keywords, but man, that one's performing really well. We've got things like coaching books, marketing and sales books. We have strategy to increase sales, marketing and sales. And that's the beauty of it. You sometimes you can get stuck in a box and think it has to have the word coaching in it, but there's a lot of ideas here. Sales, marketing, profit for businesses, ebook, marketing and sales, marketing business would be another good one. Sales and marketing, business book for beginners. That's a great one, especially for my book, The 90 Day Coach, because it's for a coach who wants to go from zero clients to fully book practice in 90 days. So that might be a really good one to actually uh, to target even as a potential keyword. I have to take the books out, but I might say something like business for beginners if I wanted to make that one of my keywords. And so this gives you lots of great ideas because these are all the keywords that this book is currently making money on. So you can begin to see the power in this. Hopefully you do see the power in this. Now, one more step that I wanna take, actually there's two quick things. First, the next thing is what I can do is I can go back to this competition analyzer and I can hit the see the book categories. Now this is helpful because I can see what this particular book is currently ranking for. And if I redo this sales to number one, then we can analyze. And if I hit this, we can see here that this category here only took 10 sales in 24 hours to hit the number one in that category. Same with some of these others, 10, 12. And so what I typically like to do is find highly relevant, but niche down for my three topics. And you have to do a different topic for your Kindle, your paperback, hardcover so you want to choose different ones for that all right so that's helpful to see the categories another way that i can see categories i think is really helpful is to actually go to the category search now here you're more brainstorming so you want to choose either all books kindle or audible we're going to use kindle here and what i'm going to type in is i'm going to type i'm going to start with coach and as i do it's going to show me the ones that come up with coach in the actual search string, which is the categories. Now, a lot of these you'll notice these are related to sports, so those wouldn't work, but these two could. This one right here, nonfiction, business and money, business life, mentoring and coaching. It only takes 14 sales to hit number one in that category. So like that one, I could also type in something like consulting. Here's two categories. Only takes 12 sales of Kindle sales to hit number one under business and money industries and consulting. So that's a really good category that I might want to go after. The other way you could do this is if you I take out the search and I go back, is you could just dive into a category. So I could dive into business and money and I can just rearrange this entire column to show the easiest competition categories that I could rank it. Now, your book has to be relevant. So obviously my book is not an accounting book in governmental, so that's not gonna work. But if I just continue to scroll down here, I might find a category that catches my eye that would relate to my coaching book. And then that would be a category that I could choose. And then finally, the last thing I like to do is if you come over to Amazon ads, this is a fairly, the way they have it set up is fairly new. 
what you can do here is you can, if you wanna go advertise on Amazon ads to get more exposure, you could start a new ads project. You can throw in the ASIN number of your own book, which I don't know if that's the, let me make sure I'm grabbing my ASIN number. So let's pull this up right here. Let's go 90 day coach. So start with your own book. And then you're going to go down to here. You're gonna grab that ASIN number and we're gonna throw that in. That's going to find your book. Then you wanna confirm that it's your book. That's my book. Now you wanna put in your seven Kindle keywords so it knows exactly which ones that you've selected. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick and do that. All right, we're gonna hit continue. All right, now we're gonna find five books that are similar. It's gonna to try to pull up some that are very closely related. I don't know if that one is the coaching business description and launch your online course business. No, the book that gets clients, I'll take that one, capture, convert. We'll leave the coaching leads formula. Experts never chase, guide for expert-based entrepreneurs, transformation business formula. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go with those three, but I also know of another popular book called Coach Builder. And I thought, oh, I need to grab the ISBN for that. So one second. All right, so I found the ASIN for the Kindle, since I'm focused on the Kindle here. And it should pull up the Coach Builder. All right, we're gonna add that one. And then I'm gonna add the one I just found a second ago, which is the 1 million coaching and courses blueprint. I'm gonna throw that in here. I'm gonna add this book. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five selected. Save project and continue. Now what's happening here is the software is going and capturing tons of research for you. It's analyzing all those books. It's analyzing your own keywords. It's analyzing your book. And it's going to come back and give you lots of data that you can then put into Amazon ads. You can also use these for adding them into your description, make your description more keyword rich, throw them into your own keyword, seven keyword categories. We'll show you all of that. So let's jump back into it. All right, the analysis is done that quick. First thing it shows is search terms related to your seven Kindle keywords. And what it's doing, it's looking for relevancy score. So as you find things that you like, so start a coaching business online. I think I like that one. You click and it's gonna add it over here and you're gonna export this whole list so that you can then go into Amazon ads and say, target these keywords. So that when someone searches for start a coaching business online, they see my book front and center at the top for that keyword phrase. That's how you rank number one, is you're willing to pay a few cents for someone to click on an ad to then go and purchase your book. Home-based business books, online business plan, best book online business. So you can go through here and you just continue to add these. If I go down, this next one is search terms links to other similar books. So these are based on those other similar books, career coaching, career coach, career advice books, business books, 2023. That's a couple years ago. So we're going to leave that leadership coach coaching for growth. And so you're just continuing to build out this very highly targeted list of keywords that you technically could use these for your seven keywords. You could use these for adding into your description. You could also use these for Amazon ads. Search terms link to your category. So this is based on the categories that you have chosen. You can go through and click those. Search terms related to books near yours in search. How to become a life coach. There's a lot of good ones here. And then the last one down here is search terms Amazon has liked for your book. Business coaching, the business book of coaching, on and on we go, okay? Then over here, you also have, you can see here, we've got a few other columns up here. We've got book targets. So this is helpful because you can also, in Amazon ads, you can target specific books. So you could say, I wanna target the ASIN number. So anytime 
actually that's my own book. So <laughs> under Coach Builder, I could put this in and target it. So anytime someone's typing in Coach Builder, they see my book as an alternative and they might wanna check mine out too. Because if they type in Coach Builder, they're highly thinking about purchasing and maybe I can get them to buy my book too. So you can also target specific books in Amazon ads. You got category bestseller targets that you can come in here to, and you could find all the ASIN numbers. There's just a ton of research. You can also find competitors that you feel like their books would be really good fit based off of your own. So you just find a person in here and open up and you find all their ASIN numbers that you could check on. So there you go, that's a quick overview, but you can see how I went from finding keywords, choosing some categories, filling up my seven keyword boxes, I have keywords to put in my description, and then I have a way to go set up some Amazon ads where I can get more attention on my book. That's the practical use of using Publisher Rocket. If you wanna try out Publisher Rocket, there's a link directly below in the description. The last thing I'll say, the reason why I love this over Bookbeam, which is a great product, is that Bookbeam will run you about $47 per month, where Publisher Rocket is a one-time purchase. I bought this several years ago and they just keep adding new features. I love it when I can save money. So if you're somebody who plans on publishing more than one book, I highly recommend go buy Publisher Rocket. You'll have it for unlimited use, unlimited research for your books, and I think you will love it. All right, that's it for this video. If you wanna see my review on Atticus, which is a sister product, it's the book I use for writing all of my books. I've published all of my books inside of Atticus. Then you can find a video right here. We'll see you over in that video.